When you try to meditate, do you ever find that you just can't stop thinking? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you a really unique strategy to approach this challenge. I'm pretty sure you've never seen this one before. Hi, my name is Seth Dellinger. I am a Feldenkrais practitioner and I'm a longtime meditation practice. I love to help people who feel stuck in their lives to find more ease in their body and their mind and their relationships. So if you would like to get my individual help after you watch this video, you can just click the link below and book a time for a call with me and we'll find out what we can do. Now, just quickly, I'll mention that I made a previous video where I kind of went more into depth of why these exercises might help you, but I'm just gonna go straight into it this time. Just need to tell you one thing. When you're thinking, that makes a sound, kind of, doesn't it? It's a voice in your head talking. So what we're going to do is work with that sound. You know, some sounds we like and some we don't. The ones we don't like, we call that noise, and we try to kind of put it in the background. But at the same time, you know in daily life that noise is there. Not every environment is perfectly quiet. So this is just a simple noticing of the sounds all around you. If right now I give you a moment without sound, just see what do you hear. Now, depending where you are, it's going to be louder or softer, right? But there's really no such thing as silence. Wherever you are, there's going to be some kind of background sound. There might be a whole lot of sound, right? So what you want to do here is just begin to tune in and begin to identify different sounds. So I'm going to pause again, just see if you can find one or two, maybe three different sounds in your environment right now. All right, so this is something you can keep playing with, but I just want to mention a few things to really listen for. Some sounds are always present. So I'm sitting in front of my computer right now, and it has this kind of tone that just is always there. It might be the lights, an appliance. There's also periodic sounds. If you were outside, maybe the birds are singing, and then one bird sings, then another. There's a little space in between, but the birds are just always kind of there. They're part of the soundscape. So as you listen to each sound, you identify the sounds and you notice that they're coming from different directions. And you notice which sounds are closer or further away. And you start to get a sense that there's a layering of sounds. And just see, can you hear two sounds at the same time? Can you hear three sounds at the same time? The next step is to notice that you are making sound. And the most simple sound is that you are breathing. You breathe in and it makes a sound, maybe not very loud, but if you pay attention, it's there. And then you breathe out and you'll probably notice it's a slightly different sound. Maybe the in-breath or the out-breath sounds like a slightly higher pitch of air to the degree that you can call it a pitch. Anyway, there's a rushing sound of the air and it's slightly different. Notice that difference because just noticing that subtlety, you're kind of listening in a deeper way than maybe you usually do. The sound of your breath is going on at the same time as these other sounds. So just notice that as I hear the sound of the air coming in, I'm hearing those other sounds, right? And then as I hear the sound of the air going out, I'm hearing those other sounds. So you can almost imagine if this was a piece of music, it would be like the piano player was playing one chord for the in-breath and one chord for the out-breath and back and forth between these two chords, but you could hear all of those other things going on, but you would notice that underneath there was this shift between these two things. So think of the sound in the environment as being supported by the in-breath and the out-breath. Okay, here's the next step. Put a couple of your fingers on the side of your throat and feel around until you find your pulse. Once you can feel it, just listen. Now your heartbeat won't be very loud in your ears, but if you can feel it also, you can become present to that rhythm, right? And once again, we're gonna incorporate this into the overall layers. So now 
once you've made contact with your heartbeat, listen to, again, the air going in and out. And just notice during each in-breath, there's probably two or three heartbeats. And then during each out-breath. And so you start to notice there's these two different rhythms layered on top of each other. Once you're hearing the breath and the heartbeat, again, notice the sounds. And can you notice that you know, the breath is shifting between in and out, the heartbeat is happening, and there's that sound of the world around you. So you have these layers and there's a kind of a musical connection. And just for fun, you might just kind of move a little bit this may be sway, allow these layers of rhythm to affect your body, right? So that you can feel that there's a kind of music here. It's not the kind of music you usually put on to listen to, but there is this musical relationship between the layers. At this point, you might just pause and notice, how present are you to the sound of the voice in your head? Now it's possible that it's still there, but what you've done is you've shifted away from that sound to various sounds, and then you've noticed the layers of sounds. Maybe the voice is still one of those layers, but now you're listening to the overall music of the many layers of sound out in the world and coming from your body. Okay, so that's one basic way that you can, even in the middle of a meditation, you can just notice that there are other sounds to relate to, and then there's this relationship between all the sounds, and that can help you take the attention away from that voice that might be talking in your head. Now, the second thing I'm going to show you, it's really just going deeper with that same idea, and we're going to go deeper inside the body. So don't do this yet, but in a moment, I'm going to invite you to cover your ears, and what you're going to hear is very different than when you don't cover your ears. But first of all, you'll hear again your breath, and you'll hear again your heartbeat. And you'll notice that they're probably louder because you've shut out the outside sound and you've kind of amplified what's inside. There's a third sound that I want to invite you to listen to. And it's a, just a kind of an ongoing rumbling in the background. For me, I just explain this as the rushing of your blood. But who knows? It's not even really so important, but just notice if you can find those three different layers. So now you can just watch me and I'll cover my ears, you do the same. And then when you see me take my hands away, um, come back and listen to the video. Okay. So if you didn't hear all three of those sounds, you can pause the video, you can try again. But the more you do it, I think you'll find that all of those sounds are there. Now, you might have also still heard sounds from the outside if they were loud enough coming in. And that gives you a sense, again, of these different layers. Now, in order to go one step further, you're going to cover just one ear. And when you cover just one ear, if you speak, your voice will sound very different, I can tell you that. But also, now you have access to the sounds inside and outside. So you can try this again in a moment, but I can listen in to the ear that's covered, and I can listen in for the heartbeat, the breath, the rushing of the blood, right? Or I can shift my attention to listen outwards, the outside world. And then I might even see, can I identify those internal sounds and those external sounds? If I can't hear them at all at once, maybe I can at least move my attention in between them, right? Okay, so then you uncover your ear and you might notice it feels a little different on one side. If you want, you can go do this on the second side. But again, when you're in a deep meditation, there's a way that you're listening inwards but you're always in the environment, right? So it helps you just have access to all these different layers. And again, the sound of your voice, maybe it just becomes one of those layers, but it doesn't have to be the one that you're 
always listening to. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it sparks new creativity in your meditation practice. I'll be making more videos like this one, so please stay tuned. If you enjoyed this, like the video, hit the subscribe button, leave your comments or questions below. And if you'd like my individual help, once again, just check the caption below. You can book a call with me. I'd love to find out how I can help you get more ease in your body, your mind, and your relationships to move forward in your life.